Hi there. Hey, today we're going to talk about Lesson 10. And uh, Lesson 10 has to do with um, writing division answers as mixed numbers, converting improper fractions to mixed numbers, and converting from a mixed number to an improper fraction. Now those three things you might already know how to do, and I totally am with you if you do. But um, I do want you to take the notes because not only is it important to have these in your notes, but you know every once in a while you get that one problem and you think, gosh, I don't remember how to do that. And this gives you an opportunity to take it out of your notes. The first thing we're going to talk about is the, the writing division answers as mixed numbers. Now, being able to divide is one thing, but then deciding how you're going to leave it if it doesn't turn out absolutely even is another. Okay? Sometimes we leave our answers as decimals. Sometimes we leave our answers with a remainder. And in this case, we're going to leave our answers with a fractional remainder. And then we will end up with a mixed number when we're done. So here's our first one. Okay? We took 37 divided by 3. 37 goes in the box, 3 goes on the outside. Okay? If you were going to write this so it looked like a fraction to start with, it would look like this. 37 divided by 3. Okay? So, you have 3 goes into 3 one time, and that's got a 0. Bring down the 7. And after you brought down that 7, then you go, okay, how many times does 3 go into 6? And that's 2 times. So you write your 6, you subtract again, and you're left with 1. Now, you could write it as 12 remainder 1, but we want to write it as a mixed number. So we're going to write it as 12 and 1 third. This number right here becomes your denominator. Let's do another one. We have 17 divided by 5. And remember, that looks like this. Okay? Then we go over and we do the problem. 17 goes in the box, 5 goes on the outside, 5 goes into 17 3 times, with a remainder of 2. The 2 goes over 5, because 5 is what we divided with, and 5 is the denominator. And again, 5 was the denominator over here. Okay, this last one on this page, this one is 173 divided by 6. Again, it would look like this, 173 divided by 6. So, we take it over here, We've 6 doesn't go into 1, but 6 does go into 17 two times, there's your 12. Subtract, you have 5, bring down your 3. 6 goes into 53, 8 times, 6 times 8 is 48. Subtract, you're left with 5, and we put 5 over 6, which was your divisor. Okay? That isn't so bad. Okay. So, let's take a look at converting from improper fractions to a mixed number. We're just going to start with an improper fraction. Now, actually, to be honest with you, we just did that, only we just called them division problems. But all fractions are division problems. So this is going to be review, but I still want you to write it down. So let's just use examples to show how we're going to do this, okay? So we start out with an improper fraction. Remember, the fraction is improper because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So we're going to go down here. There's two ways to do it. The first way is to simply divide the numerator by the denominator and write the remainder as a fraction. Okay, here's that example. You've got 5 over 3. Okay, divide 5 by 3. Here is the work right here. 5, 3 goes into 5 one time with 2 as a remainder and put the 2 over the divisor. You get 1 and 2 thirds. Pretty slick. Isn't too bad, not too bad to do. Here, I'll put it there so you can see it. All right, now, the second way to do this, we think of 5 thirds as 3 over 3 plus 2 over 3. And so then, because we took 5 minus 3 and we're left with the 2, so we can think of it as 1 plus the 2 thirds or 1 and 2 thirds. Either method works. Some of you may have learned it this way. 
and that's fine if it always works for you um, and some of you may have learned it this way um, I personally do it this way because it's easier for me and I don't tend to make mistakes but you can choose so it always it's nice to have a choice in math I always hated it when my teachers told me that I had to do it only one way and that was the only way that was possible well that's not true because some ways to do math problems there's a couple different ways okay so when we add or subtract fractions we're often left with an improper fraction so here's a couple of examples okay so we have four fifths plus four fifths four plus four is eight over five of course the denominator stays the same you can take eight divided by five you get one remainder three or one and three fifths these are just examples please put them in your notes though okay and the second one that I want to show you this one's a little more complicated okay this is one and three sevenths plus two and five sevenths now what I do with this is I actually um, split it up a little bit I know this whole number and this whole number will add together so one plus two that makes three so there's your whole numbers then you have to add the three sevenths and the five sevenths together while the denominators are the same so it ends up to be three plus five all over seven you end up with three and eight sevenths now we can't leave it that way because eight sevenths is improper okay so to deal with an improper fraction we do what we did before we divide it out and we end up with seven goes into eight once with one remainder so one and one seventh so we have to go back over here we have our three and we have plus this one and one seventh so three plus one is four and then you tack the one seventh on okay even when we're multiplying we can end up with improper fractions here's a good example five thirds or excuse me five halves times three fourths fifteen over eight okay so just take fifteen divided by eight eight goes into fifteen one time with a remainder of seven one and seven eighths here's another one again this is a little bit bigger eleven fourths times three fifths now notice on both of these we're starting with improper fractions to multiply in the first place we get 33 over 20 so 20 goes into 33 one time with a remainder of 13 or 1 and 13 twentieths now these are really pretty simple to do but you do have to be consistent find a way that works for you and and be consistent about the way you used to use it because if you don't then you're going to be making mistakes because you're, you're flip-flopping back and forth between methods. Pick a method that works and then use it. Lastly, we need to know how to convert from a mixed number back into an improper fraction. So now we're going from, an in, from a uh, mixed number and we're going to turn it into an improper fraction, which is just the opposite of what we were just doing. So uh, we oftentimes uh, to use this to add or subtract or multiply or divide. So here we go to change three into sevenths into improper we will multiply the whole number by the denominator three times seven and then we will add the numerator to that product so three times seven is twenty one then we're going to add that two on and we end up with twenty three three times seven plus two three times seven plus two finally put this new sum over the original denominator and you get 23 over 7. A lot of people uh, where I started getting this, um, here I'll put that up there for a second, a lot of people from where I started getting this used to call this, they called it the wheel. Okay, and I'll give you a really good example, 3 and 2 thirds. Okay, and using the wheel, using the wheel we would start here this is the wheel three times three three times three which is nine plus the two which is eleven eleven over the original denominator which is three so these are both the same fraction only this one's improper and this one's mixed
but otherwise they are equal. Okay? All right. We're going to do just a few for practice here. I'd like you to do them at your desk while you're listening to the video. Okay, so we have 3 and 1, 6. So we're going to take 3 times 6, which is 18, plus 1, which is 19 over 6. 4 times 3, which is 12, plus 2, 14 over 3. 7 times 9, which is 63, plus 1 is 64 over 9. 6 times 12, which I believe is 72, plus 11 is 83 over 12. 14 times 3. Now, I'm not sure I can do that one in my head. So I'm going to go 14 times 3 is 12, 3 and 1 is 4. 42 plus 1 is 43 over 3. Okay? And of course, I've got it on here. You can check your own work to be sure that you're right. I want you to see how the work, work, work looks. Okie doke. And that's all I want to talk about on this video. Thanks a lot for listening. I hope this helped, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.